am back on the market and ready to date again. This video is centered around one of my favorite activities, which is planning outfits and styling outfits. Yesterday, I went for a walk and noticed pretty quickly that I was underdressed. Um, there was like a chill in the air and I, I was like, I was a little cold. Fall is trickling in to coastal Georgia. And with that being said, I can say that spring fling season is officially over and we are now in the cuffing season. I had a spring fling that ended. I dealt with it. I took a month of, I mean, okay, well, to be honest with you, I did go on a couple dates in September, but I dealt with it um, throughout the month of September. We are now in October. We are now in cuffing season and I'm ready to continue those dates and meet new people and hang out with new people. We're going to continue that dating spirit in October, November, December and beyond. And with all of that in mind, um, I put together a few date night outfit inspirations um, and I'm really excited to show them. I picked out all the lingerie and my closet and found ways that I can style them for date night and outside of the bedroom so <laughs> I'm gonna start rambling here and without further ado just go ahead and get into modeling these outfits for you because they're very fucking cute <laughs> So one of the things about fall fashion that I'm really excited for are layers and the different ways that you can experiment with them. One of my favorite things to play with is dresses and shirts or dresses and skirts and putting them either over each other or under each other and you know seeing what you can come up with in that front. This outfit here plays around with a skirt, a tube top, and a nightgown. I think the colors of this outfit are very very much a cozy vibe but when I put it together with just the clothes I felt like it needed something extra like yes the outfit was cute but like there was something that was missing so I put a cow print belt with it um, just to add a little bit of fun and playfulness. When you're going on dates you most definitely want to share your personality and fashion is a great way that you can do that. If you really want to make a statement and you feel like your outfit or your clothing isn't really coming across how you want to, accessories are one of the best ways that can give you more of that boost. So this is the nightgown by itself. Um, I thrifted it from a shop on the beach maybe like a couple years ago or whatever and I didn't actually start wearing it until like last spring or whatever but um, I don't wear it that often. It's very, I don't know, I don't wear it that often but I wore it in a YouTube video a few like videos back and I was like, why don't I wear this more often? It recently got this like really big hole in it, which is very sad. And this part right here is coming undone a little bit, but I'm really, really, really not ready to like give it up yet. So I'm trying to figure out ways that I can like extend its life. I feel like this isn't something that you can necessarily sew back together, but like, I mean, I guess it's worth trying. For right now we are just gonna cover it up with some clothing pieces so <laughs> okay let's back things up a little bit because um i put together the outfit how i intentionally like had this style and the tube top is actually supposed to go underneath the nightgown this is how it looks um i have the nightgown pulled out making this kind of like fake peplum situation which was you know on the runways a lot for september fashion week in new york i really like the draping cascade that it gives and this is what it looks like with the cow print belt on i think it's just really freaking cute i think this outfit is a stunner and it's a great way to continue giving life to this nightgown like this is the outfit where it's like i am trying to be seen okay like i'm pretty sure you know in your closet you have a dress you have some type of like tube or halter top and you have a skirt i think this is something that you can most definitely do and put together for a moment when i realized that the tube top was supposed to go underneath the nightgown i was like oh maybe i shouldn't have started with this outfit or like oh maybe i just won't include this in the video but i do think the way that these pieces are put together are very fun so i'm keeping it um just for like inspiration purposes but obviously like i mentioned earlier there is a big gaping hole in this particular nightgown and listen like this is just something that i most definitely want to wear this season so i'm going to try to make some things shake so what i'm going to do 
I have some fashion tape in here that I am just gonna see if I can like make something function with this. I'm gonna take this piece of tape and fold it and then put one side on this like little hole on the satin and then try to get that lace. And look at that, that hole is gone. It's gone. Fashion tape can definitely be a game changer for you, especially if like you have pieces that you want to hold on to, but it has like a hole in it. Um, I say try fashion tape. And it also like, it washes off pretty, it washes off your clothes too. Like the adhesive from the tape, you know, you won't have that many problems with it. So that's one thing that I can say. Um, I think I got my fashion tape from like an arts and crafts store. So it's definitely out there. Look for it and your closet will have a longer lifespan. But yeah, this is the outfit. I think it's so cute. So this next outfit that I have for you is a little bit more colorful. It plays with this really cute pink baby doll and a green maxi skirt. But okay, I think even though the lingerie here obviously is like the main portion of the outfit, y'all, this limited two bag, I thrifted it from a Goodwill and it's like straight up limited to all the girls back in like, I don't know, like early 2000s, maybe a little bit later, maybe a little bit earlier, but all the girlies knew what limited two was and i cannot believe that i found this bag it was literally like two dollars from a goodwill or something like that like literally i used to be someone who would like get limited two catalogs and for christmas just like circle everything in it <laughs> um yeah yeah that was me um but y'all look at this little bag and it's like this like crushed velvet um pattern it's literally one of my favorite bags to wear and because it's so small if this my phone my money, my keys, um, chapstick, maybe like one or two very small items, but I think it's like great for dates because it doesn't weigh you down. Yeah, so let me go put this outfit on for you. So I definitely think that one of my go-to styling tricks this season is going to be creating these fake peplum moments. I think they are just so cute and I like the way it creates this fun silhouette. This is the outfit all pulled together. This skirt has a really big slit in it. So it does show a little bit more skin. Actually, you might be thinking like, girl, it is too cold for all of that. Like, but here in coastal Georgia, um, it doesn't really get super, super cold for like a long period of time. So I think I do have a little bit more time to wear this. Um, I try to think because as it looks now, it does look kind of simple and there is a really, there's nothing wrong with simple. I mean, it is again it has the lace it's very flirty all that great stuff i think there's something though that i could do to accessorize it a little bit more okay just a little scarf here could be really cute let's see so when i originally put this outfit together i intended it for it to be like a day date situation like a date during the day and I feel like adding the scarf just kind of like solidifies that it just brings more elements to the outfit that are fun to play with um so like maybe if I wear this for a farmer's market date or a date around the park or a coffee date I feel like this outfit I don't know why I just said it like that but I feel like this outfit would just be stellar for it the colors are very you know chill the vibe is very chill. I do feel like this is more of like a simple outfit, but I do think it's easily copied. You take a baby doll, you take a maxi skirt, you find a way that you like to accessorize it and voila, you have an outfit for a date. <laughs> So this next outfit that I have for you is intended for more of like a sophisticated situation, like maybe a dinner date or a social mixer where there's a lot of wine being served. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, when I put this outfit together, I just imagined myself 
drinking wine. Um, the main number is this tied up like black piece here that I'm going to show you right now what it looks like on. So I'm really not sure what to call this piece. I don't know if it classifies as a baby doll or just some type of like lingerie cover up. If you know the official name, please let me know because I couldn't be asked to Google search different lingerie types, okay? Um, but it has this kind of, it has a tie here and this little clip situation here, but you can like, I don't know, it's just like not, not necessarily a shirt, I guess, but yeah, I mean, this is just like an all black situation. Um, I put my hair up because for some reason I feel like, you know, that just screams a little bit more sophistication, like a little bit of an updo. I have this red bag for a pop of color, but also I grab some wine for the effect. Okay, because look at me. Imagine me being like, ha ha ha, he he he. <laughs> okay. All right, okay, but like, you know, just hanging out on my day, you know, kicking it up while we're talking about, I don't know, whatever you talk about on dates, um, but I just feel like this is so cute and like this top, it cascades and so it has this like, um, you know, draping effect, which I don't know, would you say this is a little bit like Peplum S2? Like, I don't know, maybe not, but I think it has a fun little shape to it. And this skirt, um, you know, is paneling. So it looks like a dress, but it's actually two pieces. <laughs> I either thrifted this top or was gifted to it from a friend. Um, this skirt, an ex bought for me a few years ago, the same ex that bought me that tube top. And we all know this is from my Goodwill thrift haul that that I posted in my last video. If you don't know, definitely go check that out. I thrifted like a whole bunch of stuff from a Goodwill outlet and showed it off for the channel. So definitely check that out. This is another take on the all black number and I wore this actually to a football game. Um, the one thing that we saw on New York Fashion Week this season is this exposed underwear trend where people would like walk down the runway with uh, all their outfit not there essentially but like maybe they didn't have on pants but they had on underwear and so with this outfit okay when I wore it on the date I did have this like little underwear part tucked in but I don't know like I feel like this could pass for like playing with the underwear trend it does have this lace that pokes out here I don't know if you can see it in the camera and let's see if I move Whatever. Oh yeah, so it kind of has this like lace that pokes around here. I'm pretty sure I thrifted these pants from that same thrift shop on the beach. And this top, like this top and the last black top, one of them I got from a vintage shop and one of them was gifted from a friend, but I can't remember which one is rich because I got them both like around the same time while I was like preparing to go to New York for Halloween and play a Halloween show with this band I used to be a part of. But um, yeah thrifted slash maybe given to a friend either way second hand second hand second hand so yeah So this next outfit that I have for you plays with a lot of different moving parts and I feel like I'm really only saying that because it includes this like really flowy skirt that I will show you in a second but uh, basically the outfit combination is a chemise, silk dress, um, a skirt, maxi skirt, a vest and a scarf. Let me go put this on and show you what it looks like. Okay you guys, this outfit has got to be my favorite outfit that I put together during my styling day. Like, OMG, <laughs> it's just so freaking cute. Like, 
<laughs> this dress I thrifted probably from the same like beach thrift shop that I thrifted a lot of these pieces from. Um, but I I used to wear it like a good amount, then I stopped wearing it for a little bit. But every time my friend would come into town and we like were ready planning to go out, I would style her in this because. First of all, I love styling people, but also I just think it is very, very cute. I love the pattern on it. And I, for myself, kind of like lost inspiration on how to style it. I was just like, oh, like, man. Because I was just wearing it as a dress. But when I put it together with this skirt, I feel like magic is happening right now in this outfit. Like, OMG. This skirt we all know is from the Goodwill haul and this scarf, I'm not sure exactly where I got it from but I am very certain that I also thrifted this as well. With this outfit, like I said, this is tucked in but when I wear it with the vest, <laughs> let me show you something different, you know, give you some options here. When I wear it with the vest, I actually see myself doing this taking the dress out and layering it so you get more of that pink i feel like obviously the vest covers up a lot of the pattern but it's something that i want to show off and y'all like a hey, look this is magic happening before our eyes like when I wear this outfit, I see myself doing something super artistic. So maybe we are going to a sip and paint or we're going to a gallery opening. But either way, we are having a good old great creative time. I really love this outfit. I think I think it's because like it just feels so cohesive but also super super playful. So you have the green that's like pulling out from the dress. You have the white that's also being pulled out from the dress. You know, um this red is also, you know, semi in the dress, but it's also, it's all coming together. It is simply a dress layer onto a skirt with a vest. For this next outfit, we're gonna go back to imagining ourselves at like a nighttime situation. I see myself going dancing with this and i'll explain why when i uh show you the full thing but it is a combo of sweatpants a teddy a belt and fishnets um, and this is what the teddy looks like but uh let me go put this on and show you the whole fit put together <laughs> okay so the lighting changed in my room because it's just becoming that time of day where it's getting dark. Don't mind that. Um, this outfit <laughs> is one that like I'm really proud of myself for putting together because again this is just something that I haven't worn before. So I was really digging deep when I was putting these outfits together because I was like really having fun with like oh like let me try this let me try this and i was trying on so many clothes at one time in one go and like listen i feel like if you know what it feels like to constantly change your outfit just trying on things you know that is like labor okay <laughs> um but i just had fun because i mean, i like that type of thing i do and i like showing these clothes and these outfits out to you off to you <laughs> but um this is the get up okay listen let me let me tell you something about this okay so this teddy i bought new back in 2019 and it gets a lot of wear for me okay i wear it like a lot a lot and these sweatpants honestly i couldn't tell you where they're from sweatpants just kind of like come to me sometimes you know you know how that works this um mesh shirt is actually um, a pair of like fishnets that I cut up to make into a shirt and I have no idea where I got this belt from but you guys these are sweatpants right so there are actually any belt loops but I felt like when I put this outfit together it just needed something so 
I just put this belt around my waist, around where a belt loop would possibly be. I'm wearing this to go out dancing. When I'm like really getting to it and like I'm on the dance floor, like I like to dance. I don't want anything to hold me back. Like I want to be comfortable to like move my body. I don't want to wear like anything that's going to expose me. I don't want to have to worry about being exposed and I feel like these sweatpants are just like a good way for me to do that. Okay, so we are on the final outfit of the good old lookaroo here. I've worn this outfit before, I think a couple times, and there's definitely so many different situations you can wear this outfit in. Um, I'll let you be the judge of this one because honestly, I don't want to like start putting outfits into a box, you know, but uh, there is something to be said about like creating a whole scenario about it, but literally. Any of these styles could be wear like worn on any any different type of date. Like if there's a style that matches you in your everyday, wear it to whatever freaking date you know, you want to go on. So I'm just gonna throw this last one on. Every piece that I've included so far has either had a lingerie top or dress. But just for all of you who like only have lingerie bottoms, um, you know, I wanted to put in something for y'all and also show off this cute little. Uh, slip skirt that I have this outfit I feel like doesn't really need any like bells and whistles because this outfit makes a statement as it's like of course you know to accessorize it I'll wear like a purse because I always need a handbag I think typically what I wear is the limited two purse to have just like a blue moment for shoes I typically go with these like lace up booties um, from Lamoda these I got off of Depop and they are just so, so cool. They have the platform shoe and it's like a lace up situation. This um, bodysuit was gifted to me from a clothing brand and this skirt was thrifted. This is the last outfit that I have for you, um, just wrapping things up very strongly with something that I know looks good. Well, first of all, all this stuff looks good. You can't tell me any differently. This is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're here, you know, to the very end, you're one of my favorites. I love you. Thank you for being here. Um, and yeah, just, uh, just appreciate this outfit with me. It is a look. <laughs> And I wish you all the very, very, very best dates. If you're single, if you're partnered, I hope you have really great dates uh, this season and beyond. And I'm really excited to see what's in store. Maybe I'll like start giving more stories and more tales of like what my like sex and relationship life is like that's something that I've always like wanted to dabble in um talking more about that type of stuff and I've written articles about it for sure I don't remember talking too much about it on like YouTube but I have a little bit on social media specifically Instagram so if you want to be a little bit more nosy into my life I definitely invite you to be um and my Instagram will probably be linked down below or maybe on the screen but anyway, um, I will release you guys back into your day or your night or whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Oh my god, I know. I know. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. Sorry, I'm making myself cringe over here.